E aí, galera, tudo bem? Estamos aqui no DCS World F16 Viper. Essa sequência de vídeos que eu estou postando são dos arquivos lá do canal do Matt Agner, aquele CEO que posta os vídeos acadêmicos do F16 Viper. Como os vídeos deles são públicos, eu vou reeditar eles e colocar aqui no nosso canal com legendas do YouTube. É, vou colocar a legenda do YouTube lá, vou copiar o vídeo e vou postar aqui no canal. Como os vídeos dele, eu já falei, são públicos, não vai ter problema. E como o meu canal não tem monitoração, ou seja, eu não ganho dinheiro para postar vídeo no YouTube, eu acredito que não vai ter problema. <coughs> Mesmo assim, lá no... Na descrição do vídeo eu vou colocar todos os links dos arquivos original do Matt Egna. F16 Viper, acompanha aí. Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In a future DCS World update, we'll be adding the high speed anti-radiation missile or harm for the S16. This missile homes in on the radar emissions of air defense radars and support a tool in suppression of enemy air defenses or seed role. We'll first release it in harm sensor or HIS mode and we'll later add position and HAD slash HTS modes. For HIS, it uses the sensor in the nose of the missile to detect and track detected radars that are in one of the three threat tables. Once the threat is handed off to the missile and the missile is launched, it will fly directly to the target with no range data. As such, it has more limited range than other modes. The S-16 can only carry two harm, so make them count. Let's get started. Okay, so before we jump into the mission, let's take a look at some of the controls we're going to be using. So we have selected the F-16C SIM. In the category, let's first go to Axis Commands. And to slew the cursor, we're going to be using the radar cursor switch X-axis in radar cursor switch Y axis. And then to the HOTAS category, the big ones are going to be the display management switch down, left, right, and up. You'll hear me refer to this as DEMIS. And then coming down, we have the target management switch for down, left, right, and up. And you'll hear me refer to this as TEMIS. Okay, let's take a look at this in the mission. Alrighty, so let's take a look at using the harm in HAS mode in the Viper. First thing we'll do is we'll go to air to ground mode. And because we only have harms loaded as our air to ground weapon, it automatically is brought up on the storage management system. Uh, we see again, we're in air to ground mode. In inventory, we can see what's on the jet. We have two AGM 88s. We'll go ahead and power these on manually. And we can see we have harms on station three and station seven. Uh, the box around the three indicates that that station is in priority, but if we want, we can switch that to Station 7 by pressing the Missile Step button on the control stick. Let's take a look at the HSD, and we can see that our targets for the day are an SA-11 site on Greater Tomb Island and an SA-15 on Lesser Tomb Island. On the left side, let's bring up the weapon page for the harm in HAS mode, and we'll go Demos Half Short to make this soy. And there's a bit to talk about here, so let's go ahead and uh, pause this for a minute. Now, the first thing to uh, understand about the harm in HES mode is that it's not exactly the brightest bulb in the pack, in that they can only detect up to five different radar types at once, but you can have up to three tables. So uh, each table having up to five radars, you can actually, in your program, up to uh, 15 radars possibly to search. So in this case, in table one, I have a combination of SA-10 and SA-11 radars. Uh, the first top three are SA-10, the bottom three are SA-11. But the table two, I can either press the OSB or I can go team of left short. And here we have more shorter range systems like a SA-19 or a 2S6, an SA-15, an SA-8, so on. And we go to the third table now, we have older systems like an SA-3, an SA-6, and an SA-2. But let's say you're gonna fly a mission and you're only worried about two different types of radar, but uh, by default, they're on two different tables, but you want them on a single table. So you are in luck. So you can actually go to the DED and the ICP to make your own tables. So we can go to list, miscellaneous zero, harm zero, 
and here we have your tables in each table with the five different radar types but you note that they're actually different codes rather than something like 3s62 uh, what I'll do is in the text of the description I'll list the codes for you so using these codes and the uh, DED capability you can actually go ahead and program your O tables to suit your mission stop her back out of that now when the Harmon is in HAS mode its uh, sole uh, search is focused on the bore side of where that missile is pointed so anything on display which would be within the red dashed area here uh, on the right side would be off to the right of the bore side of that missile and so on and when the missile is in search mode it's not the most efficient uh, by default it's going to search for every radar in the table based on the uh, search pattern so in this case by default it's going to be searching for five different radars in a wide area and if we do the um, uh, reset search RS button we can see it's going to take a minute and 30 seconds to complete one complete search so 90 seconds is quite a long time but we can actually pare that down pretty quickly by going first to the search function here we can remove uh, radars that we're not interested in searching for so in this case uh, let's go get uh, rid of all but two and come back restart it again and now we're down to just 35 seconds uh, next right now we're in a wide search so if you don't have a really good idea where that radar is wide's a good idea but if you have a good raw hit or good intelligence you can go to a center scan and it's just going to be uh, searching for the very center of the uh, uh, cross here for targets and we restart it again we're down to just eight seconds so much much better let's go back to table one for the SA-11 and let's get rid of those SA-10 radars we're not going to need come back we're in a center scan uh, the SCT value right now it's 13 that indicates that the uh, search has been restarted 13 times whether it's a completed pattern or me changing tables or so on and we have first contact now we have SDA that indicates a uh, snow drift in active mode A for active if it's a T after it, it means that it is in uh, tracking mode and there's a good chance there's a missile on the way or there will be shortly we can display up to uh, 10 different emitters within the uh, box but if it's up to 10 only two of those can be of the same radar type and also when you have a SAM site with multiple radars they'll be overlapping initially but the radar in priority which will generally be the engagement radar will take precedence and the other ones will disappear to give you a clean look at the engagement radar uh, to lock up a radar we'll be using the uh, slew cursor here we just place it over the emitter and go team is forward short to hand it off uh, to do the harm for engagement at this point I think we can go ahead and unpause and up on the HUD we can see that we have uh, harm uh, the status box of the missile shot we also have a box here on the weapon page indicating the current radar types being detected right now just a snow drift out there okay 11 has popped up on the raw gear and you see some overlap in there and the snow drift went away now we just have an 11 in active mode we're going to wait for transition to a tracking mode and I place the cursor over it okay went to T, T was forward short and magnum That's why it's a good idea to have the HSD to give you a better situational awareness where that SAM site is, as well as your raw gear, of course.
this point, let's go ahead and change it to the uh, table two with the SA-15. Let's get rid of the radars we don't need. And go to a center scan. So now we're set up the SA-15 attack. Okay, let's pitch back in. SA-11 is offline. Got the 15 here. Let's go ahead. Lock them up now. Magnum. Tinha dois. And now the F50, uh, SA-15 is offline. So, two shots, two hits. So folks, this is a uh, overview of using the Harman HAS mode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Thanks.